Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexpert.io and today, today we are looking at the wish list app by Swim Corporation. Just know that this app is more than a simple wish list. It has a complete marketing tool that promises to help you increase your sales by, hold up, hold up. 30 to 50 percent that sounds pretty crazy but okay it has a 4.9 out of 5 star rating which we will see at the end in the effects corner okay but let's just install it and see what it looks and feels like the app is installed and we are on the start guide so the first step in this start guide is the account creation and we need to fill in the name and email address no biggie on the next step we have a plan picker but not the usual page with pricing features. Here we can select the features we want to use and based on that, the app will recommend the plan. I kind of like this. I never saw that before. It's probably a brilliant upsell te technique. Talking about upselling and cross-selling, uh, make sure to like and subscribe our channel if you like want to learn more about Shopify. I My mission is to transfer everything I know as a Shopify expert to my subscribers. Anyway, Wishlist Plus offers a native language support, so configure the app, use interface buttons and email in your native English language, I'm sorry. Multiple wish lists uh, allow shoppers to create multiple lists with their wish list by tagging products. The social sharing allow shoppers to share their wish list with friends and family. Reminder emails, so configure automatic wish list reminder emails to bring shoppers back to your store. Uh, Facebook Pixel, so engage targeted Facebook ads based on the shopper's wish list actions. Um, basic email service providing integration, so it integrates with MailChimp and HubSpot and Klaviyo, but for that, definitely look in the, the facts corner a bit later. And then advanced uh, email integration, so that's going to be based on the user's wish list activity. And frankly, I want it all, but... Let's be realistic. Maybe select social sharing and Facebook pixel. And having the ability to add the Facebook pixel is maybe the most useful feature in this app because with it, you can target Facebook ads based on your visitor's wish list. Although email is super important as well. I'm so torn. All right, anyway, back to the app. We selected two options and let's click on continue. Ooh, the options we selected are all under the pro plan. I just, that's so typically me. It's like when I go to a restaurant, I'm like, oh, I want this. And then I notice it's the most expensive thing. What is wrong with me? Um, anyway, we are too cheap for that. So we're going to stay on the free plan and we're only going to have a hundred wish list actions, which frankly is, is not that much. But if you decide to upgrade, you can choose from a range of amazing features. Uh, let's click on start free and we are on the launch button detail page. The first step is to choose the launch point position. Uh, you can choose if you want it to appear as a floating button, a menu item or a header menu item. Okay, uh, I like the idea of having the wishlist button as a header menu item. So it looks it looks natural. natural. Um, so let's do this. Oh, okay, so this option does require some work, but okay, let, don't worry, we're gonna stick, we're gonna show you how it's done. So identify the navbar liquid file that has the code for the account and chart. Before we do that, actually, let's make a duplicate of the team to make sure we don't work on any live teams. Um, Let's do that real quick. So, okay, now that's done, we're gonna identify the navbar liquid file that has the code for the account and chart. The liquid file varies based on the team your site is built with. So here are some of the files that we have seen the code placed in. Interest this code at a place where you want the heart icon to appear, and that's basically it. In our case, it is with a section slash header dot liquid. So let's search for cart and we will place the code right under it. Uh, we will leave the code snippet in the comment section below so you don't have to like manually type it in. All right, let's jump to the next step. And this section, we need to choose how we want to display our wishlist module. Uh, two options are available, the pop-up window and a separate page. And I think I like the pop-up, so we'll choose that. Now it's time for customization. Okay, here we should define the look and feel of the wishlist button on our product pages. 
Not much of customization is available, that's unfortunate. We have five button types, so we will go with the first one and now we can play with the colors. We won't play for too long with it since we can only change colors of the buttons before and after the user has added products to their wish list. Uh, so whatever, we will leave the labels like this, but in case you are not selling in an English speaking area, this is the place where you can change the language. Keep in mind that if you want to use the app in any language other than English, you will have to pay some money for it. All right, we are left with the social count. Wishlist Plus allows you to display a count of how many users have added this to their wishlist, which, okay, I guess it, it creates some scarcity. We want to do that on our demo shop, but maybe if you don't have that many sales, it's not a great idea. Anyway, okay, we are on the last step, which is email details. Here we need to add who is sending the email. So for the store logo, I'm going to try GIF animation since there is no preferred file type. Okay, it didn't work to be expected, but I still tried. Uh, let's choose PNG and that doesn't work either. Okay, probably some temporary bug. Maybe they really need JPEG. But anyway, let's proceed. We are on the dashboard. The dashboard is green, but okay, it looks really nice. Okay, on the first page, we have a plan progress bar. So you know when to upgrade and give them more money. And under it is the basic app insights. So in the sidebar are placed in a logical order. We can choose between uh, all of these elements right here. So jump to our product page and here it is. Okay, it, it, it looks good. Yeah, it does what it needs to do. Oh, muy bueno, that was fun. So let's look at how fast this app is. Meaning, no, 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 that's not what really what I mean. Let's look at it. if this app affects your site speed score because site speed is important for a conversion and a lot of apps affect site speed in a negative way. So does this app affect the site speed in a negative way? Let's check it out. It is time for the speed test. And as usual, we will use our own tool, which is testmystorespeed.com. So um, we already tested the store speed before. It shouldn't be too hard to see it. Before the app was added, the total page size was 349 kilobyte. Now it's 473. And this app added additional requests. Okay, so that's not nothing. Uh, if you do a lot of apps like this, they will slow down your store. So make sure to, to keep that in mind. Okay, so we know how important mobile is these days. I mean, most of the traffic really comes from mobile, doesn't it? So how does this app look on mobile? I suggest we just pull it out right here and the BFCM were made using the mobile and tablet devices. So we're going to look here, right? And going to test, uh, okay. And really, that, that, that looks really nice, actually. Look at that, I'll overlay it here. But I mean, product added to wish list, and here is the social count, so no problemo here. Okay, so what about customer service? We know that if you're in trouble, like let's say on Black Friday, and suddenly your app stops working, you would want a customer service department to be there for you and kind of have your back. I mean, uh, how's their support? Is it any good? Let, let's check. Let, let's check it out. Okay, so their customer service is available via email and live chat, but you have to go to their website for the chat. Uh, let's see how quickly they respond. Just click on the icon here and you can send an email directly from the app. And that was, that was actually quite easy. All right, email is sent and now I guess we just wait. Oh, and so it took them one hour to respond to the email, which is pretty, pretty damn good. Uh, the customer support is really nice, so that's really important. They are putting in an effort in solving the problem, and this wasn't an autoresponder, which I love. All right, that's great. Okay, welcome to the Facts Corner. So one of the first thing we look at in the Facts Corner is integration. Does this app play nicely with other apps? Well, actually, it plays really nicely with ESP, Clavio, Bronto, Dot Digital, Lystark, Resync, Mailchimp, SailTrue, and SendGrid. So those were all the like email service providers, of course. And then it really plays well with your CRM, your customer relationship management. What does CRM stand for again? Anyway, it plays really nice with with a Zowies. I don't know, I probably didn't pronounce that well, but here's their logo. Uh, with Salesforce Marketing Cloud and with Cordial. If we look at social, then it integrates with Facebook and Instagram, which cool, cool, cool. And then if you want to automate stuff, you can look at Zapier, Shopify Flow, and Klaviyo Flow. That reminds me, I should really, really review Shopify Flow one day. Okay, so let's look at the pricing. 
For the pricing, well, you have kind of multiple options. You have the free version that includes all of this right here. Um, then you have the starter pack right here. I'm going to try to put it at $15 a month. And obviously, it always has all the features of the thing before. You know how pricing works, right? Um, then you also have the pro plan at $50 a month. And finally, you have the premium plan at a full 100 dineros per month. Ooh, snap. An important thing to mention here is that not all the previous integrations that we mentioned are available in all the plans. So for example, you're going to need the pro plan to have the MailChimp Clavio HubSpot integrations. So that's definitely something that you have to look into which integrations are available, which, which plan. Okay, so maybe you're like, hey, Andrew, I, I don't feel a vibe of this app. What other apps do you have for me? Well, you can look at Customer Meta Wishlist Compare. Uh, you have also Wishlist with Wishlist, Wishlistify. I always did. Keep your name simple, people. Smart Wishlist. You have Wishlist King. You have Wishlist Pro. Talking about easy names. Wish e Favorite Wishlists and Wishlist at $2. I'm assuming they're $2. And then you have Wishlist Plus Reminder. All right, what about the rating? We have a 4.9 out of 5 rating, which is based out of 946 review at the time of this recording. Wee, wee, wee. Uh, this is what the breakdown looks like. And I'm going to do like we do in every app is I'm going to overlay some of the one star reviews just so you kind of have a feeling what the one stars are talking about. You know what I mean? Well, that's it for today. I hope you kind of got some value out of it. It gave you a better idea of what this app really does. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you did. Make sure to check out the other videos. In this channel, I just really try to give everything I know about Shopify over those eight years. I'm just going to try to pass it on to your subscribers. Don't worry. I don't always wear the tie. I don't always have the glasses on it's just for the app reviews. So we also do coding reviews and just general Shopify tricks and Shopify news, a whole bunch of Shopify related stuff. So make sure to like, subscribe, Subscribe and also make sure to test your store speed at testmystorespeed.com to see how fast your Shopify store is. It's completely free. Thank you a lot and I'll see you in the video, the prochaine video. C'est ça. C'est cela.